This video will demonstrate how to use an existing contact list to do a mail merge with. This is the letter that we made last time, and before you close it, or as you close it, that is, it's going to bring up this box that says this document is attached to a data source. And this is the name of the data source, contact list, that hasn't been saved. You want to save the, the, the list, contact list. And you definitely do want to save that so that you can reuse those contacts. So I've done that, and now it says, do you want to make, save the changes to the letter? And we could do this as well. Okay, so now that that's closed, let's go back into Word and make envelopes for those same recipients that we made the letters for. How are we going to do that? We're going to, again, go to Tools and Mail Merge Manager. When we get this, you'll see that we have to select the Create New. In this case, we're going to select envelopes. Now it's going to ask us for a delivery address and a return address. At this stage, I'd like to just type in a return address. Um, so down here, I'm going to type in my name and address. Now the return address will be the same on all the envelopes, but the delivery address will of course be different. So I'm going to say OK here. And what it's going to do is create an envelope template for us with this return address in this upper left corner. Now in here we need to drag the fields that represent the address, the addresses of those individuals. So the next thing we need to do is to step to select recipients list. I'm going to click list and this time I'm going to say open data source. So we're going to open a contact list that already exists. I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to browse to that on my computer. I'm going to select it and say OK. And that's the contact list that I made before when I made the form letters. Now you'll see that I have these contact, these fields from the contact list document and I'm going to simply drag them over to the space where the recipient's address goes on an envelope. It's going to be first name, last name on the first line, and then the first line of the address. Press enter, do the second line of the address, and then I'm going to do city, comma, state, space and then the postal code. Okay, so now let's see if that worked by previewing the results. Now click this, you'll see there, there's the first record in the contact list. If I click the next record button, or the right arrow, I can see each person in my list. So that looks pretty good, so I'm going to click complete merge by merging to a new document. When I do that, I'll have a new document that has three envelopes in it with the three people that are in my, my list of contacts. So this video has demonstrated how you can connect an envelope document and merge with a set, of re uh, a set of contacts that you already have existing. So you see this saves you a lot of time because you don't have to type in all those names again. We could do the same thing with a list of contacts that were in an Excel spreadsheet um, or they were in other types of files. Um, the important thing to take away from this is that we have created a new document and linked it to an existing set of files, and, uh, an existing set of contacts. In this case, we've done envelopes. So this video has demonstrated mail merge using an existing contact list.